Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She got that name from her red coat, which was given to her by her grandmother. One day grandma got sick. Little Red Riding Hood's mom prepared lunch for grandma and asked Little Red Riding Hood to take it to her. Here you go Little Red Riding Hoods. This is grandma's lunch. Please take care, go straight to grandma and don't deviate from the road. Okay mom. She answered and went to take lunch to her grandmother. On the way to her grandmother, she saw beautiful forest flowers and started to pick them. She wanted to make a beautiful bouquet for her grandmother. Every flower that was deeper in the forest seemed more and more beautiful to her. She soon forgot her mother's warning. It was late, two eyes were already watching on her. Hello little girl, what's your name? Little Red Riding Hood. Where did you go? I'm going to Grandma's. She is sick. Where does your grandmother live? At the end of the forest. The wolf has already come up with a cunning plan. Okay, I have to go now. Bye. Answered the wolf and rushed towards the grandmother's house to get there before Little Red Riding Hood. He knocked on the door. Who is? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, bringing you lunch. Said the wolf in a changed voice. Come in, it's open. The wolf came in and ate the grandmother. He quickly changed into grandmother's clothes and lay down in her bed to wait for Little Red Riding Hood. Soon Little Red Riding Hood came and knocked on the door. Come in, it's open. Little Red Riding Hood looked at the wolf and asked. Grandma, Grandma, why are your eyes so big? To see you better. Grandma, Grandma, why are your ears so big? To hear you better. Grandma, Grandma, why is your mouth so big? To eat you easily. He ate Little Red Riding Hood. Tired from a hard day, the wolf laid down in bed and fell asleep. The hunter was passing by the house. He entered the house and freed Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. Voices from website, voicebooking.com.